All right, so welcome to the channel, guys. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got my Beretta 1301 from Langdon Tactical here today. Uh, I am new to the shotgun platform. I have been shooting handguns and rifles for 20, maybe 21 years now, but shotguns, I'm new to it. As of right now, I've probably put about 300 rounds, 350 rounds, yeah, about 350 rounds through this thing, but I just got my hands on some Hornady Critical uh, buckshot along with some Federal Flight Control. Before that, I had been just using some cheap Super X Winchester Double Odd Buck 9 pellets. Uh, cheapest place that I was able to find it at. It's actually in the link in the description below. It's the cheapest place that I've been able to find ammo for the last about 20 years. They offer free shipping when you buy in bulk, so definitely go and check them out. Uh, this stuff, the Super X Winchester, which I did forget a box, but I'll be probably be rolling something in here to show you guys. It's, it's uh, I want to say 70, 75 cents a round. The exact same stuff. I've seen it at a lot of other online retailers selling for 90 to $1.10 per round. So this is my practice load. I'm going to shoot at various distances. I've got a target down range. Uh, we're going to start off with the cheap stuff, the Super X from Winchester, then I'm going to do the Hornady Critical and then do the Federal Flight Control at various distances just to see what it does. And I'll show you guys here. So I've got this target. I actually measured it out. This is exactly seven yards for right now. And again, all of these at the beginning for the various stages that are various distances that we're going to do, it's going to be the uh, cheap stuff to begin with. I figured if it's really tight with the cheap stuff, then there's no need to use the more expensive stuff because the federal flight control that's like a dollar 25 around right now and the hornady critical is about the same so we'll see what it does going hot as they say and i do want it to be hot because i'm kind of cold all right so seven yards federal or seven yards winchester super x just the cheap stuff out to this target here we go Make sure you take height over bore. Oh, okay. Let's check that out. Wow, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like eight from right here. This was just seven yards. Wow. Try this again. Um, I didn't have the GoPro recording downrange, so here we go. Federal flight control, seven yards. It basically makes one big circle like a slug but we'll just uh do this again for you guys so yeah hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed here we go that was very impressive and a big difference now we have the hornady critical duty here again seven yards different target but same style all right and that should be recording down there that way i don't have to do this twice Okay, so Hornady, I've always heard with handguns, or with, yeah, with handguns, nine millimeter, you know, stuff like that, that it's very, very good stuff. I had high hopes for Hornady Critical Defense 12 gauge, this stuff right here, but it already started opening up versus the Federal Flight Control. It was basically one solid slug at seven yards. And here I can already see the pellet, so let, let me go show you. Okay, so there you go. That top one, you know, that's your uh, wad. And so we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10 yards. Now we're gonna do the cheap stuff. Really hope I don't hit my GoPro down there. It's kind of close. <laughs> 10 yards, Winchester, Super X, just the cheap stuff, double odd buck. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that shouldn't hit my GoPro. That should be fine. Wow, okay. Federal flight control. 10 yards, federal flight control. Not worried this time about my GoPro. <laughs> Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Hmm. 
Okay, it opened up. Started opening up a lot more than what I thought it would, seeing that just at seven yards, I mean, we went from seven to 10, it was basically one solid slug looking type of thing. Hmm. All right, let's show you. So that is Federal Flight Control at 10 yards. All right, so now it is gonna be the Hornady Critical Duty. Uh, I was about to say Flight Control, but Hornady Critical Duty also at 10 yards. Shouldn't be a big issue for my GoPro. Okay, here we go. And... Interesting. Cheap stuff. Winchester Super X. All right, so at 15 yards now, Winchester Super X. This is the cheap stuff. Not gonna lie, I'm actually worried about my GoPro, so I did move it back just a little bit. Hopefully it won't get hit. It, eh, it shouldn't. If it does, I'm gonna show you guys and you definitely have to subscribe. Cause that's a GoPro 11, 11. Here we go. Okay, GoPro's still fine. Okay, so let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, wad. Doesn't look big enough to be a wad, but maybe if I was to put this target on my chest, hopefully you guys can see this. All right, that's still effective, but it definitely opens up. All right, federal flight control. Thank you, Mr. Border Patrol agent for uh, kicking up all this dust. You didn't have to go that quickly through here. All right. Target is moving on me just a little bit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Hornady critical duty or critical defense stuff. Ah, critical defense, I'm sorry. I got the box right here. I actually need to, because it's getting brighter now. Let's do that. Hmm, okay. So, federal flight control is better from what I'm seeing. Right now, let's go show you guys what I mean. So that's what we got right there. Here is the results of the test. I had to move this indoors because the wind started picking up so much that it was blowing everything all over the place and I just couldn't do it. On the far left, we have the Winchester Super X stuff. Loki, get out of the way. Then we have the Federal Flight Control in the middle and then Hornady Critical Defense. At the top, it's the seven yards, then it goes down to 10 yards, and then at the bottom here, that is 15 yards. Okay guys, so hopefully you found that useful. I know that I did. Uh, personally, I think that the Federal Flight Control is gonna be a little bit better over the Hornady Critical Defense, but that again is my personal uh, opinion from the testing that I did here and the results that I got out of my personal Beretta 1301. Hopefully you found that useful. I do recommend that you guys do this test as well for your shotgun. Even if you have a Beretta 1301, you should probably do this just to confirm that you're getting the same results. Okay, that is it. See you guys on the next one.